Oh, what if there was a place with all the zip of Nuka Cola? Wouldn't it be the cheeriest place in all the world? And maybe it will be. All I know is I thought it was going to take me a week to paint these guys up. It's taken me about two days because I, again, got very, very excited. So I'm um, not going to go with full um, crew breakdowns. going to do that in the um, first few games. But yes, we have the pack, the operators, and the disciples, all ready to beat each other up over a theme park. Uh, yeah, hell yes. Um, so yeah, uh, these models are very cool. I've had a chance. So to read over the rules, the rules are awesome. The terrain. Now, one thing I'm genuinely loving about the terrain is I've set this up as the uh, more or less neutral, uh, like, um, nuka shacks. But, uh, like, the, like the um, uh, beverage stations. But they are also... You can invert them, invert them, and make a whole bunch of uh, these are more specifically dry rock gulch um, buildings. Uh, almost all the stuff is um, is uh, dry rock gulch themed. I, well, I'm really, really hoping they're going to release the same terrain, but for the other um, park areas because it's actually surprisingly nice. The only problem I do have is I'm going to have to. Um, Got excited and started videoing this early. Gonna have to glue these because the standees are incredibly flimsy. Uh, but yeah, just oh, oh, I'm really just doing it to say how excited I goddamn am. Um, also, one of them has a little hidden copy from the um, ah, uh, come on. Um, from the quest where you've got to wear the cappy glasses to get the, um, codes. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I genuinely, I, I, Fallout, I love Fallout 4. I, uh, <laughs> um, I, on my PlayStation 5, apparently I have 1,400 hours in, in it. I've completed it multiple times. I am so very, very down for this. It's very cool. Um, yeah, so just as a quick um, yeah, break, um, breakdown, the gangs are going to be, um, the pack are called The Wild Hunt, uh, led by the Alpha Toro here. Uh, they are... Very much based around um, like close um, combat fighting, a lot of psychos. Um, yeah, so from bit the way the way this game is um, set up is uh, you've got um, psychos, scavers, and wasters. Psychos are more or less the melee lads, uh, scavers are more or less the range lads. And um, wasters are essentially the um, juves um, in Necromunda parlance, uh, where they're cheap, they're crap, but they you can put a lot of them in. Um, yeah, uh, the pack have a lot of fun stuff, like they have access to the Death Claw Gauntlet, which is an incredibly powerful melee weapon. Uh, they've got access to the Flamer, which obviously. Uh, the, this champion over here, um, the name's Jack. They've got um, predator grenades, which you throw and um, it summons uh, like um, little critters into attack. Sadly, it doesn't spawn new models, but still, just oh, it's really cool. I would, uh, yeah, I these models just ooze personality. Um, they <laughs> next up, we have got. The operators who, um, bias warning, uh, the operators are my favourite of the Nuka World Raider gangs. 
obviously not my phones, otherwise it would focus on the top dog. Uh, CJ here. You've got... Oh, come on. Focus. There it is. Cool. Yeah. I, you've got a golden combat rifle, because of course he does. Um, backing up him, there is Ken with his missile launcher. Again, I had to take the missile launcher. And we have Scarlet with her syringer. Um, backing up them. The operators are in a weird position where they are very good. They are weird. Like they are statistically very good. They have the best weapons. But because of that, they're the only ones who can't start with um, the full 10 models. Because, yeah, they just cannot have enough wasters. But, yeah, I just... Ah, look at them. They're so cool. So cool. Um, also, while well, I'm just being excited in general, if this would be so kind as to focus on this guy. Come on, you bastard. There it is. I, I call this guy Woody because I think he looks like Woody Allen. And, oh, Woody Allen. Jesus, Woody Harrelson. Uh, <laughs> that's how excited I am about this. <laughs> I'm just naming it. Yeah, uh, Woody Harrelson, I think. Specifically Zombieland, Woody Harrelson, but... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Um, just... Hell yes. And on the last um, group, we have got... The Disciples of uh, the Incredibly Edgy Blood Shadows. Um... Uh, I'm still, I, I've tried tried them out and they do show up, but I'm still always kind of uh, <laughs> wary when I have such dark models. I swear to God, they're like dark reds with blues on them, but you can't, I absolutely can't tell that from these bloody bits. Um, but yeah, the disciples are also here. Uh, we've got uh, Nyx is our tormentor. And backing her up, we have got uh, Ga um, Gail with her um, syringer. And we have got, to call him Tony. <laughs> Tony there with his um, uh, marksman, um, marksman's um, handmade rifle. Now, Fun bit about this, all the models are um, WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, but that does have some weird little bits like these guys, um, the scavers with, focus, with um, hunting, um, they're called rangers hunting rifles because they've got bayonets, the bayonets actually do something in the game, which is, just, oh there you go, that one, right folks. Um, bayonets actually do something in the um, game like they um give they give um melee weapon uh, bonus melee attacks so actually yeah uh, not awful which is nice but yeah so everything is it's a very granular system so I'm going to apologize in advance that if you have watched any of my previous games, you know full well that I am so very, very bad <laughs> at remembering rules. And there's going to be a lot of them. I'm going to do what I can. The idea is I am going to do a full campaign. I'm going to see about, um, uh, see um, which crew can do all three tiers of a, um, of a um, story path, which may take a while. The story paths look quite extensive, which I genuinely quite like. I think it's really cool. <laughs> so I, I'm very down for this. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, the way the way I'm going to be doing this, just going to tell you the plan now, is so let's get let's get all three leaders in one shot. There you go. There you go. So yeah, the plan is, 
I'm going to start with the box contents. So it's going to be um, the pack versus the operators. And they are going to... Um, there are specific rules for the first time a um, new crew operates. Uh, so I'm going to be following that, which is basically you do the very basic fight and new crew members get some slight buffs just to make sure they don't get the crap kicked out of them. But from then on, the way I'm going to run it is the group, the crew that lost the previous um, the crew that lost the previous game are going to go on to fight the one that didn't take part in the previous game. So if one crew keeps winning, they will play less games, which should hopefully balance it out. And yeah, every single crew is going to attempt to do whatever they need to do to improve their um, their particular story path. Uh, each um, faction has three different types. I will explain what they do when we start playing. And yeah, um, very excited for this. Going to do a full Nuka World story campaign. And just... Yeah, I'm just, I'm very excited. I, uh, I I hope that everyone else is as excited as I am. Um, Fallout Factions looks like an absolute blast to play. I've got the custom dice for a reason. Uh, the terrain is absolutely gorgeous, and I really do hope they um, uh, add in... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I really do hope they... Um, bring out like um cardboard versions of the other areas because like uh, actually going to the different areas does actually have mechanical effects like part of the campaign is actually taking over nuka world and some of the story paths i believe the one i bought i've gone for for the pack requires um Get it like, like you can go out, you can um, explore the um, area, and you can scout it, which gives you bonuses, which is really cool. Like, um, you can claim different parts of the park as your home base, and just yeah, hell yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, just, just ah, uh, I. <laughs> I'm I'm sure it's getting across because I only ever go ah uh, when I'm this excited. But yeah, um, starting next Wednesday, we're going to be doing yeah, Wasteland Wednesdays, um, Fallout Factions. Let's take over Nuka World. Hell yes. And yeah, just, just yeah. I. <laughs> Uh, if you are excited for that and you haven't already, please subscribe. Ring the bell down down there somewhere. It sh should be under Nick's here. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, remember to yeah, like, subscribe, um, subscribe. Um, comment down below who, which one's your favourite Raider gang? Which who are you excited to see? Hopefully. I don't know, kicking the crap out of the other two. <laughs> and why is it the operators? Uh, do you know, actually, I say that. I I love the operators, but for the first time ever, I really enjoy painting the pack. Um, the Disciples, I don't know. I, the Disciples, I um, dig it. You can actually see they're not like just pure black. Uh, maybe when you put with other characters. Um, I went for very, very dark red with blue, with incredibly dark blue accents. Um, which means they look just a black and, um, if you don't have like perfect lighting. But, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, let me know which one, um, who you want to see win. Um, I am a very let the dice decide this kind of stuff, so. Um, my bias, I can have it be as biased as I want if the dice want the operators to have the crap kicked out of them by a dude with a death claw gauntlet. There's very little I can do about it. Uh, 
But yeah, um, cool. Yeah, let's say starting next week, Fallout Factions, Nuka World. Ah ha ha.